Welcome to this edition of the Tiara's Tribune. In today's society, young ladies are faced with a multitude of challenges that often hinder their success. Tiara's mentor program was founded in order to meet these challenges. Part of the mission of Tiara's is to convey a message of faith, encouragement, and truth for its audience. Thank you for joining us on the mission of empowerment for young girls. Here's the latest segment from the founder. Welcome to today's segment of Live Out Loud. We as women don't like pat ourselves on the back. For our, We're always sort of deferring. Yes. You know, we, we, we cede our power so easily. And I want young girls out there to know, look. <laughs> live out loud. Live out loud and understand that what's in your brain is, is really useful. Do not hide it. Don't, don't dumb it down. Don't apologize for it. Just put it on the table and let people deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, because we silence ourselves. For today's topic, we are joined by a really good friend of mine. Our friendship spans over about 20 years. She's an entrepreneur. She is a fearless woman of God, and she is the first lady of the Chosen Church. Please help me to welcome Mrs. Keetra Lee. thank you for joining us today when you hear the phrase live out loud what exactly does that mean for you bold and fearless being bold and fearless loving yourselves and allowing yourselves to fall it's inevitable but just know that you can get back up I love that you use that word bold. One thing that I admire most about you is that you don't allow people to put you in a box. You live your life unapologetically with boldness and on purpose. If you had to give instruction or guidance to the members of Tiaras or any other young lady tuning in for that matter, what recommendation would you give to them about finding themselves and then taking this journey to self-discovery we won't all have the same journey but we can learn and we can live even afterwards so learn live and prepare for the next phase i want to talk about how young ladies value themselves and self-worth um, last summer the members of tiaras went to see the movie toy story great movie by the way and there were a lot of hidden messages. In the movie, a little girl bunny is traumatized by the first day of school. She creates a craft project from materials that have been thrown in the trash can. And from that, Forky comes to life. Now he brings Bunny comfort and joy because she is in fact his creator. However, all Forky can see is that he is created from nothing and every opportunity he gets, he jumps right back into the trash where he believes he belongs. How would you equate this storyline with how girls view themselves versus how God, their creator, sees them? We are all gifted with different assignments and purpose. We just have to figure out what they are grow, glow, and flourish in them. Amen. Now, in another scene, we are introduced to Gabby, who is a pull string doll that is supposed to bring happiness to the world with her voice. Unfortunately for Gabby, during production, she receives a defective voice box that leaves her feeling worthless and without purpose. Gabby is convinced that once she takes Woody's voice box, the world will see her in a different light. Eventually, Woody gives in and allows her to take his voice box. Yet, even with the new voice box, she still doesn't get the attention she was seeking. In today's society, we always see girls trying to be like someone else. 
without realizing God did not make any mistakes when he created them. What advice would you give to girls who are like Gabby, who seem to think that their lives would be much better if they had something that someone else has? Gabby is a little heifer, a liar and a hustler. She doesn't know how to stay in her lane. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Words of wisdom. How much of an impact do you think that social media plays in how girls truly view themselves? Social media has a huge influence on our youth. And because they are so easily persuaded, they fall prey to what society says or who society says they should and ought to be. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, everyone has been sheltering in place. We are just now beginning to see a little bit of movement. Um, but all in all, this time has allowed many individuals to really take a deep look within themselves and then really think about their future. What should be that one lesson that we want our young girls to walk away with now that the shelter in place guidelines are being lifted? Alone time is perfectly fine. In fact, it's needed. It's times like that when you're alone that God does his greatest works. He speaks the loudest and it is so clear. I can attest to that. I personally have enjoyed the tranquility and the peace that this time has brought. Now, your husband is pastor of the Chosen Church. As a Christian and First Lady, what platform is most important to you? And then what do you think is your greatest responsibility to the girls and young ladies in our community? There's no platform greater than the other. My biggest responsibility to women and young ladies is to inspire them, to be an example to them, to encourage them that it's okay to be different to become their authentic selves, allowing space to be vulnerable and understand that if you fall, it will be okay. And there you have. Now, before we end our segment, what is it that you would like to leave our viewers with? And then what is it that you would like the world to know about you? I want to end with a token of gratitude to my friend and my sister Angela I admire you so very much and I thank you for allowing God to use you and direct you with this vision I also would like to encourage you all to practice becoming your authentic selves it's okay to be different love yourselves for who you are forgive yourselves for anything that you've done and make the decision to move forward in life and please don't let your past dictate your future. I want the world to know that I am not perfect, but I strive to be the best me, the best version of me. I am no longer a victim of my past. I am proud of who I see when I look in the mirror. I am bold, I am fierce, I am authentic. But the greatest compliment that I've ever been given is by God. He said to me, Keetra Lee, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you all for watching. I hope that I have said something to you that is encouraging and inspiring and that will make you want to practice becoming your authentic selves. Keetra, thank you so much for sharing with us today. For those of you who are watching, live your life out loud. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And if you would like to help support the mission of empowering young girls in our community, please go to our website and make a donation at tiarasmentorprogram.org. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so all of your donations are tax deductible. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing to someone.